Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just made a little video about how to delete this line between these two nodes here. So I drew two other objects on the page, and the, the, the gap between these two are a lot further than this one. So if you had, well, one, you can click on the item and do it that way, but if you had a whole picture of deals and you only wanted to close the shorter distance of the nodes, and just for instance here, let's, well, let's do this. Um, this node here is, or this opening is 0.95 of an inch. And I'm, you wouldn't ever do this, but I'm just kind of giving you a hint of what I'm doing. And we'll get our zoom tool and we'll measure these two nodes. And see, they're only a half of an inch. So we've got a whole bunch of nodes and we want to only do, we only want to join these two. We'll go up to windows, dockers, go down to join curves and put your gap tolerance on just a hair larger than the gap there, which was 0.5. So we're going to 0.6. Let's zoom in here a little bit. And we've got our item selected. All I have to do is hit apply and it's going to join those nodes perfectly. Now there's a couple ways you can join them. You can actually go with a Bezier curve and it'll give you a little curve instead of a straight line. There's chamfered and extended and this is the one I've ever only used extended in the Bezier Bezier curve tool. Anyway, and then it did not do these. And as you can see, even if you're clicked on here and you put apply, it can't do it because that's more than a sixth of an inch. So let's back up here and let's make it one inch. Now it closed it. Now let's just test this. This one is evidently further than an inch. So let's just, let's make sure it's further away. Now let's select both these and just hit apply and see it only closed the one within the tolerance. It didn't close the other one. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.